Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, we are going to talk about the power of crystals. And in fact, this is the power of crystals series. And in these videos, we are going to talk about different crystals, the energetic properties that it carries, and how we can utilize the crystal when working with energy healing, how each of the crystals can help us in general. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the crystal amethyst. And of course, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share with your friends. And if you're interested in future messages like this or tarot messages, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here, and it does help to set intentions when channeling messages. Now let's jump in and talk about the crystal amethyst. Amethyst is a quartz crystal. It's also a semi-precious gemstone. So normally people get this gemstone made into different jewelries. So it's easier for them to carry on person. Its name is a derivation of the Greek word amethystos, meaning not drunk. Throughout history, people have considered this stone to prevent intoxication and help with sobriety. So one thing that when I'm working with energy and I find that a person had struggled with addiction in, a, in the past, I will recommend the stone amethyst. Now the origin of this crystal comes from Brazil, Canada, East Africa, Great Britain, India, Mexico, Russia, Sri Lanka, United States. So it, it comes from a variety of different places. The color is obviously purple. And again, guys, depending on the type of amethyst, whether it's a chevron amethyst, a dream amethyst, it's going to carry a different color. However, it will still carry the same energetic properties. Okay. Now, the primary use is to enhance your intuition, and your inner sight, your inner guidance mechanism, support sobriety, helps to treat insomnia, promotes restful sleeping. It enhances a person's psychic ability. It supports the connection to the spiritual realm and the higher self. When using this crystal for chakra healing, you would use it for the third eye chakra or the crown chakra, either or. Now, when you're using the chakra for uh, this crystal, mm -hmm. rather, for chakra healing, you want to place this crystal directly on or touch the appropriate chakra point. You can also wear it as jewelry. As I said before, a lot of people will get it made into either a necklace or earrings to have it near their crown or their third eye chakra. You can also carry it in your pocket. It will still give you the same energetic resonancy. However, it's more effective the closer you have it to the incorporated chakra point, guys. So keep that in mind. Now, when you're just using this crystal as a crystal to channel, you would hold it in your hand. I recommend holding it in your left hand. You can hold it in any hand. The reason why I say your left hand is because that's the hand that's connected to your heart. That's the hand that's connected to spirit, okay? You can also place it under your pillow on a bedside table. It's an important crystal to use during meditation, guys, because this crystal enhances your intuition, your connection to spirit. So if you're trying to receive intuitive messages, if you're trying to receive an answer from spirit on which direction, which path you should choose, I always recommend using amethyst incorporated with other stones. Now let's say you use amethyst and selenite. It will also enhance and purify that energetic resonancy. So there are ways that you can use amethyst with other stones. Um, I do all the time use different stones for different energetic healing, but I also use them together to enhance their energetic properties. So that's something that you can use, whether it's healing practice, whether it's personal healing. It's important to know the energetic resonancy that each crystal carries. So I do feel like that's a good solid message coming out about the crystal amethyst. I do have some very fun things coming up, some different types of events that I'm going to offer 
as well as healing retreats. So look out for that information. If you found the messages helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.